Hello and welcome once again to Morgate Andrology and today we're going to talk about penis girth procedures. You have a choice when it comes to increasing your penis girth. These are largely based in two categories. The first is a penis fat transfer which is probably the most common way in the United Kingdom to increase your penis girth and the second way is with uh, dermal fillers which are becoming increasingly popular. Now there are significant differences between the two. The one similarity of course is that they will mo both make your penis thicker and they'll make your penis thicker both in the flaccid and the erect state which is why these treatments are so popular. The key differences are that with a fat transfer this is a minor surgical procedure. It's performed under general anaesthetic although you can go home on the same day. The advantage of the fat transfer, of course, is that it lasts. It lasts many years. So compared to dermal fillers, um, you know, you're probably only going to have uh, a fat transfer once or twice in your lifetime, based on most patients. Whereas with dermal fillers, they need topping up usually about every 12 to 18 months. Now, dermal fillers will be cheaper in the short term. They cost less than a penis fat transfer procedure. But in the medium to, to long term, medium to long term, fat transfer procedures do work out much cheaper. Now, dermal fillers, um, these are based on hyaluronic acid injections that normally are injected into the face to fill in wrinkles and plump up lips, this sort of thing. Uh, and there are so-called deep tissue fillers that are used for augmenting the cheeks. If, you, you know, if, you, if, you, if you've gaunt or you've lost a lot of weight for plumping out the cheeks, and it's these that are used to um, augment the penis size. They're very easy to get done, just as the uh, facial fillers are, because they're done under local anaesthetic. There's no need to have a general anaesthetic. And of course, you can go home immediately after the treatment. The downtime is less too. So whereas with a fat transfer, you cannot have sex for about four weeks, with dermal fillers, it's usually okay after about seven to ten days. Now, some guys don't like the idea of a man-made material being injected into the penis and they, they prefer the natural, um, uh, the natural way, if you wish, of their own body fat. Although it should be said that we all possess small amounts of hyaluronic acid naturally in our bodies anyway. So uh, those are the two options. You've got a, a surgical fat transfer, which is for the long term, or more temporary dermal fillers, um, but dermal fillers are easier to get done with a faster recovery period. Now, at Morgate Andrology, we offer all, all kinds of, uh, or, or should we say both ways, of uh, thickening your penis, both a uh, surgical fat transfer and non-surgical dermal fillers. So if you'd like to know more about these treatments, and you'd like a consultation with one of our urologists, please do get in touch with us here at Moorgate, and we'll be more than happy to arrange that for you. You can also find out uh, a lot more about both uh, surgical fat transfer to the penis and penis fillers by visiting our website, and that's at www.moorgateandrology.co.uk. So that's all from me today. I look forward to seeing you back here at Moorgate very soon. We are making now a series of videos on key questions that patients ask us. The same questions keep coming up time and time again. So we thought it would be a good idea to put them into uh, a series of short videos to uh, give guys some of the answers to the questions they want. So until next time, bye for now.